There is no expiring date to the trauma that we deal with and the pain that is left in the memory of our scars. Amanda may sound bitter and people may also be asking, why now? But the truth is, there is no timeline to grieve, trauma and pain and we can't be telling people how to deal with their lives' adversaries. Hi T-Squad, here is what Ayanda Woroto is saying. I wish I could repeat that we are a broken mess of a nation, but that will be getting us off the hook too easily. Brokenness can't be the go-to excuse for our toxicity and hiding behind social media handles has just unleashed the monsters we are. Because we can hide faces behind cowardly words. 90% of the things people dish out from behind social media masks, they would never repeat with a person standing in front of them. But that's not the point of this post. 1. You have no right to invalidate someone's abuse experience. None. You were not there. They were. 2. You have every right to not believe someone when they say they've been abused, but that is where it ends. You have zero right to judge them. 3. Coming out with an abuse allegation 2 years, 10 or 50 years after, the fact does not invalidate the experience. There is no expiry date for trauma. Are we timekeepers now? Asking victims why now is a vindictive act of violence in itself. Silence is violence and so equally is judgment. Four, many women have not been able to prove their cases in a court of law. It does not equal the abuse did not happen. It means the law did not have sufficient evidence. Five, last but not least, women can be in a relationship, marriage and still get raped. Educate yourselves. Uh, to label a woman smashed is a violation. It is degrading, dehumanizing, and abusive. We cannot be promoting platforms that perpetuate bullying by stripping women of their dignity. It's simply not okay. I dated so and so and keep it moving. Why must we stoop to? I smashed. I hit it. Kulani, you want to be treated like men. Stop behaving like boys. This vile engagement is simply demonic and no sane organization should support it. Those are real people, not cows. I feel sorry for our children with adults like us, honestly. We are in serious trouble, SA. We need to do better, she said. At your squad, what is your thoughts? Do leave your comments down below. I love you.